So I'm doing these videos, did a couple last year, did one this year, 2022, about a recent video was the Bluffton uh, Reader's Choice Award, and I've done restaurants awards. I started thinking, why not the Weber's Choice Award? I don't know what all those other places uh, to have the Reader's Choice Award and all that. Maybe they're getting paid under the table. Nothing political here. I got nothing. Nobody's supporting me except commissions. That's it. But nobody's paying me on anything on videos or anything else. So I thought I would just share what my wife and I, what our favorite places are. And some of these are included in the video. So if you're interested in the Weber's Choice Award, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. Let's do it. All right, first up on the, on the list, I'm right across the street from Berkeley Hall. I pulled in this place right here. There's not a single parking spot available, nothing. I don't know what's going on in there. People fixing their faces. I'm not sure. Lux Spa, May River Dermatology, plastic surgery, all for your face. Anyway, my wife comes here, gets moisturizer, things like that. Great spot. They also have one on the island. If you're moving to the area and you're looking for a qualified place, the cars are stacking up right now behind uh, my number one camera operator. There's no place to park. Everybody's in here with the face. Anyway, number one on the list, Lux. May River Dermatology, great spot. Weber's Choice Award. Weber's Choice Awards, downtown Bluffton, Old Town. Cocoon is on my list. It's a ladies boutique, very, very nice. As we go walking this way, you can see, I'm gonna go back up the other way in a second. We have Ben and Jerry's right here. That's great. Over there is Calhoun's. A lot of people go there. It's not on my list. I don't think the food's that great, but it's good for atmosphere because it's got a band and that's kind of fun, but they're not on my list at the moment. Okay, I am at the Corner Perk right now in Old Town Bluffton. My daughter used to live in San Francisco. We would go out all the time and visit, and those coffee shops out there, <laughs> unbelievable. Corner Perk is not in that category. It's just not. I've looked high and low around here for places like the San Francisco coffee shops. It ain't gonna happen. Corner Perk's a great little coffee shop. My favorite place for coffee is uh, Java Burrito. We'll get into that in a little bit. But just to go through a few of these places here, Cigar Shop, Peaceful Henry, right around the corner, if you're looking for a great selection of cigars, been in a few cigar stores in my day, that's a good one. It's also a cigar bar, so you can get a drink in there as well. Peaceful Henry's, very good. Going through uh, the list here in downtown Bluffton, Weber's Choice Awards, Best Children's Store, Moonlit Lullaby, right down Calhoun Street, this way, great spot. Best Fishing and Sporting Goods Store, I'm gonna put Southern Draw Outfitters. I've done a video on fishing. Southern Draw was featured in that, and I'm also going to include a store on the island called Outside. And that was voted actually the best uh, local store on Hilton Head Island, it's great. Called Outside, locally owned, super. So I'm going to say Southern Draw, Outfitters, and Outside. Two great ones, Weber Choice Awards. Best Furniture Store, Outdoor Furniture, because when you move down here, we're not staying inside like you all are up north all winter long. You're outside, so you'll want to get some outdoor furniture. So we have done business with Palm Casual Patio Furniture Store. They're on 278. You walk in there and it's massive. They have all this outdoor furniture. It's great. We bought some furniture in there and they do a really nice job. All right, looking through uh, here. If you're looking for a great barber shop, this is also highly rated. Joe's Classic Cuts 
barbershop. Ranked number one for just a barbershop. And uh, it's really great. They cut children's hair, adult hair. I get my hair cut there. Great spot. And I'm super, super picky, as my wife tells me. Okay, Corner Perk uh, for breakfast. First, first watch restaurant. I've mentioned it before. It is a chain, but it's healthy, and I like it. And it's right next to the PGA Superstore on 278. Farm is just around the corner here. Really unique menu, farm to table. Excellent here in Old Town Bluffton. Best wine and spirits store. I've also done a video on this, Bill's Liquors. They have two locations. One is over in, uh, next to 46 and 278, that intersection. And the other one is 46 and 170, that new area, Riverside Village up there where there's a Publix. Uh, they have a, a, it's a bigger store, better, better selection. Great place to get wine. Best art gallery is the so Society of Bluffton Artists, which are a lot of the art galleries down Calhoun Street uh, that you might find some pretty unique uh, things about low country. So that said, let's move on to the island. I am in the Wexford uh, Shopping Center right now, which is down closer to Sea Pines, next to Wexford, the gated community, next to Long Cove, the gated community. Across the street is more Palmetto Dunes. But this is a very popular shopping center. And Java Burrito was ranked number one on the island, locally owned. Great place. Breakfast, lunch, really, really good in there. And it's like a local's place right next to a John Bailey, which is a men's clothing store. That's brand new, actually. I asked uh, the gentleman in there, how'd you come up with that name? And he said, John Bailey actually used to own Hilton Head Island way back in the King's Grant and all that. So kind of interesting, awesome men's store, Java Burrito. Let's explore a little bit more Wexford. Still in the Wexford shopping area here, Ombra, I've talked about that in other videos, probably the best Italian restaurant on the island. Really, really good. Um, super popular. Uh, while I'm talking about restaurants, Weber's Choice Awards, which are my opinion, my wife's opinion, I don't have the Surge Group restaurants on this list because the Surge Group is a super popular group of restaurants like Nep uh, uh, Neptune's, King Neptune's. And they're just, I don't know, I go to places that are not as touristy. They're very popular, very good, but they're just not on my list. It's my list, I could put whatever I want to on this list. Anyway, second on here is restaurants, the Sunset Grill. This place is fabulous. It's in a trailer park of all places on the island, but you're raised up and you look right down at the intercoastal there. It's, it's awesome. Coast, I've talked about it. It's in Sea Pines. Uh, you're right on the beach. It's in the Sea Pines Beach Club. Hudson's, of course, is a main stay restaurant here. Seafood, very well-run restaurant. It's next to the Surge Group restaurants, the Boathouse and uh, uh, restaurants like that. Watusi Cafe. Now, I've never really talked about this one. That's down near the, past the Sea Pine Circle, headed towards the ocean, near Caligny, the Caligny Circle down there. But it's great for breakfast. Uh, Watusi Cafe, really, really good. Breakfast and lunch, I believe. Giuseppe's Pizza, that's also very good. There's one on the mainland, and there's one on the island. Of course, I just talked about uh, Java Burrito. Hilton Head uh, Social Bakery. That's a great spot in Shelter Cove. We've talked about that in the past, but go get a little croissant, a little coffee in the morning. Very good. While I'm standing here, Island Child, super popular children's store here in the Wexford shopping area. So just a few places. I'm going to walk to the other side now. Great uh, veterinarian right here. Actually, we had our dog for 17 years, and a couple of years ago, we had to put him down. Cried ourselves to sleep that night. Anyway, they did an awesome job, and it's right here in the Wexford shopping area, so this is a good one right here. Still in the Wexford shopping area, Weber's Choice Awards. Branches is a great shop, independently owned, super. Speaking of like interior design type of things, Jay Banks 
is an award-winning interior design, you might want to consider using them to decorate your home. John Kilmore is not in this shopping center, but they're on the island. They're in the shopping center where Fresh Market is, actually. John Kilmore, really, really beautiful furniture, upscale, luxury, nice. Onward and upward. All right, we're wrapping this up. I think I've gone too long on this video, but I wanted, I'm over here in the shopping center where Fresh Market is. And if you're in need of eyewear, uh, first of all, uh, Bishop Eye is where I go as far as an optician, uh, optical doctor. But this place is completely awesome. And I've been in a lot of optical stores from New York to California. This is beautiful in here. It's a luxury eyewear store. And let's go take a look. And when I turn the camera off, there's no goodbye. Just call the John Weber team. We'll set you up. I'm an associate broker with Charter One Realty. And we'll show you from the Hilton Head Island all the way out to the interstate, all these neighborhoods covered. Let's go in and check out Island Optique. This is nice. Anyway, this is where I come, my wife come, we come in here and buy our eyewear in here. And you've got really every well-known uh, eye manufacturer that matters in this store. And my man, Billy over here is, he's going to take care of you when you come in here. So I'm going to hand the mic to him and he, you're going to tell us a little bit about the store. Well, thank you, John. I appreciate that. And, uh, First of all, happy Valentine's Day to everyone on the island. Um, just to give you a little bit of uh, information about us, we wanted to set ourselves apart by bringing in some of the collections that you might not otherwise be aware of or be familiar with. All of them are handmade uh, from Germany. They're uh, handmade in Denmark. I have lines that are custom made in France, uh, Italy. Basically, they're not mass produced, um, which is the beauty of it because I like to call them eyewear artisans. It's jewelry for the face. It's the most important accessory that you can wear. John can attest to that, sure. Lynn can attest to that. Uh, and it's also basically um, marrying a need with a want. We need to see, but we want to look good while we see. And eyeglasses are an extension of who you are as a, as a person. So feel free to look around, take a again of the shop, and uh, I'll hand it back over to John. Thank you very much. And, and you're open? Pleasure. We're open. Uh, we have uh, uh, different hours. So Monday, Tuesday, and Friday from 10 until 6. Thursday is our late day. I'm here from 10 until 7. Saturday, 9 until 2. And we're closed on Sunday. And I leave Wednesdays for appointment only because not everyone's schedule can fit in with our hours. I actually do private appointments on Wednesday. Okay, there you go. Anyway, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. And hopefully some people out here give you a call. Come I and take a look at the store. And be sure to mention John's name and you'll get a little spiff as a referral. I've never gotten a spiff. <laughs> okay. Well, you <laughs> Anyway, come see us and Billy will take care of you.